Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn French with Anubhav. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are going to continue with uh, our friend, the Millennium Edition, Coup de Longue et de Civilisation Française, Volume 2, recommended by CBSE Board for Class 11th and 12th French students, published by Goal Publishers, Ashat Livre, and the writer, G. Moshe. Right. So, till now, we have completed the literature section, the culture de civilisation part, from chapter number 1 to chapter number 30. And we have also covered the grammar section up to chapter number 5. So, today we are going to do the grammar of chapter number 6. All my other videos based on this particular textbook for class 11th content is pres or are present in the playlist titled CBSE class 11th, G. Moje. The link is in the description. Because uh, after 18th onwards, we have 12th content, right? Chapter 18th onwards. Chapter 18 to 30, I'm talking about the full-fledged syllabus that we used to have pre-pandemic era. Post-pandemic, of course, for the past 2-3 batches, the syllabus has been condensed quite a lot, right? Like, uh, because of the pandemic for 11th, we have up to 12... Uh, chapter number 12 only but for 11 the actual syllabus is up to chapter number 17 that we used to have that i had when i was in 11th right anyways so we are to discuss lesson c's uh grammar in grammar we have the subjunctive subjunctive has been already discussed on my channel if you want to watch the full video like the concept explanation and the exception of subjunctive uh, you can watch those videos, the link is in the description. Still, we will discuss it today as well in this video. So, uh, vous écoutez la professeur? A normal sentence, you listen to professor. Now, it's a c'est un fait réel. It's a real fact, it's something that happened in real. Now, another example. Uh, okay, there's no example. The example comes after a line. So, la vibe est au présent de l'indicatif. Okay, so it's a uh, real fact. That's why we have conjugated the verb écouter in present indicative, right? The normal present tense conjugation that we have. Then we have, il faut que vous écoutiez la professeur ou je veux que vous écoutiez la professeur. Notice here, it is a must that you listen to the professor or I want that you listen to the professor. So, in both these things, these are not like a real fact. These are an order or a necessity or a wish. Hence, we have conjugated écouté in the subjunctive form. Now, uh, sometimes subjunctive is referred as a tense, but it's better to consider it as a mood, right? Subjunctive mood. Subjunctive mood as what we study in English, right? So it's easier to remember that way. So it's written over here. C'est un ordre ou une volonté, ce n'est pas un fait réel. La verbe écouter est au présent du subjunctive. Again, subjunctive also is of numerous types. Uh, types. In my ch on my channel, we have done only uh, this one only. Present tense with uh, subjunctive in present tense. Though there are other forms as well, which we might explore in the upcoming chapters. Right. So it's an order, it's a desire, it's not a real fact, it's not a real action. So the verb écouter has been conjugated in the present, subjunctive present form. Right. Donc après il faut que je veux que je souhaite que je désire que la verb s'amé to subjunctive. So therefore, after il faut que, it is a must that, il je veux que, I want that. Je souhaite que, I wish that, je desire, uh, je désire que, again, I desire, I wish that. La verbe s'amène au subjonctif, the verb needs to be conjugated in subjonctive form. Then we have formation du subjonctif. Very easy, I'm going to write it on the board as well, so don't worry. Uh, moreover, you have already done subjonctive intent, right? Intent uh, for board exam 5 marker, there's a special question of subjonctif. So, of course, you have studied. It's like a revision for you, right? So, uh, formation du subjonctif, règle générale, the general rule, pour former le subjonctif présent de tous les verbes, sauf aller, avoir, être, faire, falloir, pouvoir, savoir, vouloir. These verbs are your 
exceptions in subjunctive why they are called exceptions because they don't follow the regular uh, conjugation rule of subjunctive right they have slightly different pattern of conjugation so all those exceptions are there in my exceptions in uh, of subjunctive video the link is there in the description so uh, prenez la troisième personne du plurier du présent de l'indicatif elle formera les premières deuxième troisième personne du singulier et la troisième personne du plurier du subjunctif présent so the general rule for forming the subjunct present subjunctive of all the verbs except to go to have to be to do to be must to be able to to know and to want the eight seven eight verbs take take the third person plural conjugation or from the present indicative the normal present conjugation that we have take the third person plural form the il l plural form right now that one will be used to form the subjunctive of first person second person third person singular and third person plural by adding the endings right we remove e and t and then the and endings for je it's e tu it's es il and l it's e and for il l plural it's e and t right uh okay prenez la première et deuxième personne du plurier de l'imparfait de l'indicatif elle formera la première et deuxième personne du plurier du subjonctif présent so for uh, first person and second person of course that ending thing happened for first second third person singular and third person plural what about first and second person plural for that for nu and vu we are going to take the conjugation from the imperfect conjugation right imperfect the way we do it it's the same thing for uh, nu and vu here as well in subjunctive subjunctive present right in this way or as see subjunctive present their verb on uh er so premier group uh, we have uh, ir uh, sorry er ending verb example given here so we have the verb parler which means to speak parler conjugation with il it's il parle right drop the ent now of course there will be something in the front like java coil foca whatever right so i'm just writing ka over here and then i'm writing the subject pronouns right so we have pal pal oh no pal over here pal and pal okay now we will add the endings e e s e e n t and for nu and vu we are going to take it from imparfait which is parlion parlier coincidentally there's not um, there's not much difference over here because the stem of uh, parler in uh, with uh, nu conjugation that we use for imparfait and the uh, ill conjugation that we use for subjunctive the stem is the same right but like take a case of gr ending verb or cr ending verb right in that case uh, the imperfect stem is different right because in gr ending verb we have the ending e o n s and only o n s is removed to form imperfect similarly in cr ending verbs the cedula gets added under the c for example common say right so that cedula is present in the imperfect stem right so uh, here it was coincidentally it's the same otherwise please follow this rule and yeah for the exceptions is entirely different some of them are taking uh, imperfect conjugation some of them are not right in fact most of them are not so that's how it is done anything else so pour avoir des tests vous avez le son vite les terminaisons sont les mêmes dans tous les subjonctifs présents okay so the subjunctive endings are same for all the verbs be it um exceptions be it the regular ones except at and avoir in their subjunctive the endings are slightly different and uh, for that we need to refer to uh, chapter number 8 though we i have discussed at and avoir case in uh, my exception of subjunctive video as well you can go through that <coughs> okay so now we are to discuss the grammar cultural civilization we have already discussed this text uh, padakali is the topic right la padakali 
and the the questions are already done over here right so now we have question number one beat on do to the time le bato fon le salvi son de boulogne et folkstone de navire de commerce on débarque le poisson les chênes grands le poisson frétille so the boats giving service between boulogne and folkstone and then we have the boats of commerce and then we have the like one debarks the fish and then the chains are uh, grants more like those clinking sound right uh and uh, les poissons frétillent the fish are like uh, agitating right uh, so all of these expressions are to be written in some other words okay very easy we can do it there was a question in previous chapter also like this only so i'm just writing the answer over here also let me just quickly check the recording if it's going on fine or not because sometimes it happens that the uh, phone moves a bit sometimes it happens that the text goes out of focus sometimes uh, god knows what happens uh, yeah sometimes they have uh, the battery percentage drops and the i have to redo a video anyways so it's better to take precaution uh they don't go to time okay le bateau for le service on the uh on the boulogne et folkstone okay 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 le navire assure la liaison the connection between easy isn't it then we have number 2 we have boulogne et folk okay this is done de navire de commerce okay okay um we can write de navire utilise a de commercial the boats used for commercial purposes the same meaning is the same third one okay again same meaning to the boat the fish right fourth lesson grants um okay Mm, yeah it can be written in this way les chaînes émettent un son aigu des émetteurs des chaînes émettent des thing clinking sound and then we have uh, les poissons frétillent we can write that they are moving with agitation that's the one is the same thing so le poisson le poisson bouge avec agitation that was question number 1 question number 2 quels sont les noms correspondant au verbe okay noun forms fine form nominal so i'm just writing the answers over here for visiter visiter to visit uh, the noun form can be visitor or it can be just visit as well like a visit une visite or it can be a visitor uh, for the uh, sadete sadete means to stop so stop is the uh, noun form of it right partir partir to leave departure depart okay then we have arrive arrival is the noun form okay then we have so the uh, entre entre is the noun form entre and then we have lastly sortir to go out so exit is the noun form now then we have the opposite of it le verbe correspondant au nom the verb corresponding to these nouns okay uh, so le voyage voyage voyager to travel Then we have uh, le débarquement. Débarquement, débarquer. Very easy.
debarkement debarque right then we have grincement grincer we discussed about this verb in the previous question g r i n c e r okay let me just write it clearly you know it's better hmm. grincer grincer and then we have la vie very easy vivre okay just four yeah just four Now we have introduce dans les phrases les noms que vous aurez trouvé dans l'exercice. So we need to frame sentences from the words that we can find from the words above. Those are present in the text. We need to frame short sentences with them, and uh, I'm not going to do that. it's an open ended question i mean i can't do all the things yeah the answers which are like crucial to do uh, the work ahead for that uh, of course i am there i have solved this part but forming sentences it's a subjective question i don't prefer doing subjective questions as such yeah i, I do letter writing questions because those are like uh helpful in uh, preparing for exam but formic sentence is just for your practice practice of what of your vocabulary sentence formation and even grammar so that you need to do on your own and i as i always say in such questions uh, i would highly recommend like how about you guys form sentences by your own and put it in the comment section so that we can have some healthy discussion over it that's much more fruitful right having single way monologue is not going to be that beneficial as much as a dialogue will be right question number 3 conjugate toutes les personnes les verbes subjonctifs qui figure dans la lecture ha ah, again it's a very long question indeed conjugate all the uh, conjugate the verbs in subjunctive that are there in the uh, passage right with all the persons as in all the subject pronouns again open ended questions there are many tenses practice hence i won't be doing this one as well question number 4 to we don la lecture tous les verbes du premier groupe à l'indicatif so we need to find the er ending verbs okay Écrivez les à la troisième personne du singulier, à la première et à la troisième personne du pluriel du présent du subjonctif. Ne conjuguez pas les verbes aller. Aller va être they have told not to go for aller because aller is an exception, right? And exception will be taught later. So what you need to do is figure out your ending verbs, conjugate them with number one. third person singular that is ll number 2 first person plural that is nu and number 3 third person plural that is ll plural with these three subject of five subject pronouns you need to conjugate all the verbs right we have discussed the rule already and you uh, locating er ending verb is pretty easy over here right so again this is something that you have to do on your own for your practice okay Fifth question is also similar. To be done a lecture, the verb intransitive, a verb transitive and direct. Mete shaka da se tua verb don zun kud fras. Now a quick revision. Okay. What are transitive verbs? What are intransitive verbs? If you have a complement of object, then it's that uh, this thing, transitive, right? And if there is no complement of object complement d'objet then it is intransitive or intransitive okay now transitive can be further bifurcated into two parts transitive direct and transitive and direct transitive direct does not have a or the preceding your complement d'objet and transitive and direct has a or the in front of your object complement d'objet right so here you need to find two transitive indirect verbs in the passage 
two transitive indirect verbs that is they are transitive in nature and they have a or the before the complement of the object and one intransitive verb that is no complement of object right so you find these three verbs from the passage passage we had already discussed long back you can uh, refer to the video as well uh, in which i discussed the passage la pada kale right and uh, then you need to frame three short sentences using those three verbs that you have found open ended question not going to do it now we come to the main question i mean that requires much more practice and what tension right okay so mate o passive le phrase ki so alactif it i was some more so i need to pick my register now convert from active to passive and inversely passive to active depending on the question and some of them have some certain requirements so those are also mentioned in the question itself right so the first one is la pada kale separ la fonds de longue tête the the, 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 the straight pada kale separates france from uh, england right so we need to convert it to in the this thing passive right so first of all the subject will get changed we can start with la fonds la fonds a separe with an e okay feminine la fonds a separe par wait a separe the long letter the fonts certainly we can't have both as the subject because think of it la fonts the long letter a separe won't make sense right ha huh. you can do this thing la fonts a e t a la fonts a long letter okay you can do this la fonts a long letter sont separe are separated par la pada kale that is fine but this is also work this is also fine la fonts a separe the long letter par la pada kale what was the other option that i gave la fonts a long letter sont separe now separe will have accordingly we it will have an s at the end now because la fonts a the long letter right la fonts a long letter sont separe par le pas de calais both are uh, your uh, this thing passive then we have de pack boat transport le voyageur so now le voyageur becomes the new subject le voyageur transport uh, um present tense only so we need to do present passive very easy so past participle transporte with an s masculine plural le voyageur sont transporté par de pack boat Okay, then we have. Nous avons été réveillés par le grand sommeil de chêne. Le grand sommeil de chêne becomes a new subject now. So the clinking or the yeah clinking, the clinking the sound of the uh, chains woke us. So. Été réveillé. Okay, nous avons été réveillés. Now in the question we have passive. passive composite passive so we need to do passive composite active right le grand sommeil de chen we can use reflexive pronoun over here we have already learnt the application of reflexive pronoun here right uh, le grand sommeil de chen nous a nous a réveillé Okay. For the pronoun, we have added the s. Okay, in case you might think that why there is s in the past participle. Anyways, 
Then we have le kes plan de poisson et des potes vad la marché par des hommes et des femmes. This is your ete pote, ete pote. And then we have par. It means it's empathy passive, right? So we need to do now active empathy. By practice, it will be easier for you to recognize which one is uh, in which tense and in which form, right? So, like initially, you might face some confusion. They zoom, a they fam. Empathic conjugation, third person plural. Porte, var, lamashe de. Rather, it can be, it will be better to write de zome de fam poste de ke splenda poisson var lamashe. That will be a better formation. I mean, uh, this one is also fine, but that's making much more sense to me. And a bit the uh, logical sequence will be there. Right. Fam uh, poste um, If you want to write Varla Marche first, that's also not a problem. On pouvait, oh sorry, on avait, on avait pris ses poissons la matin. Même. Okay, in active we have on, impersonal pronoun, we know the usage of it. So, on avait pris, on avait pris, it's your plus que parfait. So, we need to do now plus que parfait, passive. So, okay, now les poissons, poissons becomes the new subject. Ces poissons, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. No, it's fine. Ces poissons avaient été pris. La mata, ma'am. Okay. Um, sixth, we have quand le bateau aura été lavé par les matelots, ils iront se reposer. N'a pas changé ces quatre mots. In one of the previous chapters, we came across such five questions, right? Where it was mentioned that don't change the last four five words, which is the other part of the statement, right? That needs to be unchanged. The first part is getting changed over here. So it's a question of that sort. So uh, I need to erase the half of the board to accommodate the remaining answers. Then we'll quickly discuss the last question and then grammar section over of chapter number six. Again, one quick check of the recording of the video. Okay, I expect it to be a bit longer. 23, 23 or 28? Oh. 28 minutes. Uh, usually I uh, do half half of it, right? But this time I thought since questions were pretty short, I can discuss it all together. Anyways, it's fine. So the answer will be con. Le matelo. It was what? Ora ete lave. It's futur anterior passive. Now we need to do futur anterior active. Con le matelo. Oron lave le bato. Ils iron sa la pose. Okay. Fine. Uh, now we have. Monsieur Vincent interrogera quelques pêcheurs. Active future sample. So we need to do future sample in a passive now.
Ok? Quelque part, c'est trop interrogé par M. Vincent. Um, then we have block dash if we need, we need to use all over here. So it's a uh, present passive, right? We need to convert it to present active or fini la pêche. And similarly, we have uh, la, po la poisson et vendu. Again, present passive, using all, we need to change this to active. So on mon la poisson. Last remaining question. Again, I won't be doing that, though I will be discussing it a bit, as usual. Um, Écrivez le dernier paragraphe de la lecture en remplaçant le pronom sujet vous par le pronom tu. So, it's starting from je souhaite aussi que vous vous arrêtiez à Boulogne, le grand pot de pêche, dot dot dot, up to les rapides trains de marée. So, uh, what you need to do here is you need to convert uh, wherever there is vous, you need to convert it to tu. For example, vous vous arrêtiez, subjonctif will become tu t'arrêtes, right? Uh, then we have a uh, que vous assistiez, then it will become que tu assistes. Then the tu vous attendrez will become tu attendras. Then uh, vous verrez becomes tu verras. Whatever tense it is, whatever verb form it is, uh, you need to convert vous to tu. Right. So these are the changes, some of the changes I discussed. There could be some more, one or two more changes. I discussed four of them. Right. And you need to rewrite the whole passage. With this, we complete uh, the grammar of lesson number six. They do push you to That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Learn for children above. And if you have any doubt or suggestion, you may write that in the comment section below. You may also like my Facebook page by the same name, Learn from Jordan above. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. Nous le parlons. Francis Lamoud.